trees have been guardians of the earth since ancient times. They purify the air, regulate temperature, conserve water, and, more importantly, provide a place for animals and plants to grow and reproduce. The disappearance of these national treasures affects critical animal and plant habitats, which will likely lead to a dramatic loss of biodiversity in the future. In order to save endangered plant species, the international community has already begun various botanical conservation projects. Taiwan is no exception and has a world-class botanic conservation center located in Gaoshu Township, Pingtung County. The conservation center is not only dedicated to the preservation of Taiwan's endemic plant species, but also aims to preserve plant species in countries around the world. Among these are the Solomon Islands, a partner country of Taiwan. The Solomon Islands, located 5,000 kilometers away from Taiwan, is a nation consisting of around 1,000 islands. About 80% of the land is covered by tropical rainforests that nurture over 7,000 native species. Unfortunately, this vast forest cover has been greatly reduced due to economic development and the rise of commercial logging industry in the past decade. Many precious plant species have gradually disappeared, serving as a warning sign to the people of the Solomon Islands who rely heavily on forest resources in many aspects of their daily lives. Okay, I think uh, in Solomon Island, people live closely with the forest and they live with the forest. Uh, they depend on the forest for their food, uh, they extract medicine from the forest, they make homes in the forest and also the pro forest provide them with a source of income for them. In 2012, commissioned by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Taiwan, the Taiwan ICDF launched the Census and Classification of Plant Resources in the Solomon Islands Project in collaboration with the National Museum of Natural Science and the Dr. Cecilia Ku Botanic Conservation Center. The project aims to assist the Solomon Islands in investigating and documenting its plant resources and in promoting the preservation of germplasm resources. Through this project, a professional team from Taiwan collects samples in the forests and turns them into specimens. Also, in accordance with regulations of the Washington Convention, precious living plants are transported to the Dr. Cecilia Ku Botanic Conservation for conservation, thereby assisting the Solomon Islands to preserve these endangered species. In addition to preparing specimens and performing ex situ conservation, the project also includes building a greenhouse in order to preserve local germplasm resources. We see this project as an important project in order for us to document, compile information on the flora of Solomon Island with expertise from the National Museum of Natural Science of Taiwan. We can do this project, it's very difficult. Especially in Taiwan, if we can do it, it's very important. I believe that no matter how much, Taiwan will be in the world, in this place, 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 in this place. In order to build the capacity of Solomon Islands personnel engaged in plant conservation, training workshops were held both in Taiwan and the Solomon Islands. Mr. Meek Nisi Ricolo, director of the herbarium in the Solomon Islands, was very impressed with the workshop he attended in Taiwan. In the last two weeks, we've learned a lot and we have made plans okay. to go back and um, promote money to working, sharing, and trying to develop new plans to, to further promote the conservation work and research work on our plant resources that we have uh, done in the past. But we Despite having the assistance of a well-organized professional team, all kinds of challenges continue to arise during the project's implementation. 
The most difficult obstacle is the massive number of islands. It would take years to complete the investigation of all plant resources. Furthermore, being able to locate the landowner is key to ensuring the collection of plant samples in the Solomon Islands. 所以你确定找到Lenona,这是很重要的。那至于我们摄影区因为是那个林业部介绍的,所以Lenona他可能是确定的,所以这是没有问题。有些可能会跟你讲,我是Lenona,可是到当地呢,他根本不是Lenona,